Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a haul video for you. I have some stuff that I would like to share, some deals that I got over the last couple weeks. Um, I think some of this stuff you might still be able to get. I'm not sure. The month of December was so busy and not because of Christmas, but just because of things that were going on at work. So I'm finally able to like take a breath and take some time and share with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to show you guys are some candles that I got. Now, um, I don't know what the heck I did with my big, oh, I know what I did with it. It's burning in my back room. So Bath and Body Works has their uh, big, I think it's like an annual sale or whatever. I don't know. They have a huge sale where they mark things down like 75 and 50% off. So I decided to take advantage of that. I got quite a few of these little candles. This one is cinnamon frosting and pumpkin gingerbread. I have one of these burning in my room right now. Um, very cute. They smell really good. And I'm not... I just, I love like fall scents and whatnot, and even though Christmas is over and the holiday season is done, I still enjoy those those types of scents, so I decided to go ahead and pick up some more of those. I also got two of these. These are, this was one of my favorites from like the fall slash winter collection that came out at Bath & Body. It was the Cranberry Woods, and I got two of these. These were like $1.50 a piece. Um, and then I got this one here. This one <clears throat> is Red Velvet Cupcake, and you can see that I burned the heck out of this thing. This one was also on sale, and I have a big one. It's called Garden something or other, and that one is actually burning in my back room. And then I went to Yankee Candle. There's a Yankee Candle in the mall that I work at, and they're having a sale also. All of their holiday uh, candles are 50% off, so I went in and I got this one. It's called Apple Pumpkin. And it smells really, really good. I want to <clears throat> I want to go back and get another one. It's called, I think, Cranberry Chutney. That one smells amazing, too. And I just couldn't decide which one I wanted. But after I got this one home and lit it up, I decided that I wanted to get the other one. So I'll probably be picking that one up tomorrow. So that was a good deal on the candles. Um, I also got, uh, I'll show you what I got from Dillard's. Because Dillard's has, like, this amazing sale once a year on New Year's Day where all the permanently reduced merchandise is an extra 50% off. And I would show you guys, I always tape, like when they open the, the front door to Dillard's, we actually have, um, we have four entrances. We have three entrances that you can come into the store directly from outside, and then the mall entrance. And my counter is kind of situated in between like the mall entrance and one of the outside doors. And when they came, like people run, like they run into the store. So I had like a crowd of people running towards me this way and then another crowd of people running towards me that way because my counter is situated right next to coach. And a lot of the coach bags were marked an extra 50% off. People are crazy. Like I'm down for a good deal, but I'm not gonna kill myself in the process. So before the store even opened, I was able to kind of walk through and pick up some things that I really wanted. So I'll show, you, I'll show you the shoes that I got. So both of these shoes are something that I've wanted for a long time, but I'm not cheap. If I have to pay full price for something, I will. But if it's something that's not like super, super important to me, I'll either wait or I just won't buy it. But this time my waiting kind of paid off because both of these shoes I've wanted for a long time and they both went on sale and they had my size, which was amazing. So the first pair that I'm gonna show you are from Steve Madden. These retailed at $80 normally um, and these were already marked down. So they were reduced and then an extra 50% off and then the extra 25 for my employee discount. But I had wanted these, um, they're just kind of, they're slip on shoes. And I wanted these for a while, so I ended up paying like 23 bucks for these. I originally wanted the, um, they are more of like a mesh, and they, like a crisscross mesh, and they would, they stretched on the top, but they didn't have my size, so I decided to just go ahead and get these, but I was really excited about getting these shoes. Like I said, I saw these when they first came out, or like the mesh ones, and really wanted them, but, um, these are nice too. I have no problem wearing these shoes over the mesh ones. They're very similar, just different um, material. And then the next pair of shoes I got are from BCBG. And these were normally $150. They were reduced to $84.99 and then another and then another 50% off of that. And then I got another $25 off of that. So this was a really good deal. And actually my friend at work had these shoes and she let me borrow them one day. And... Like, I just can't wear heels for long periods of time. When I wear heels to work, I can go for maybe two hours before I'm in, like, serious pain. But she let me borrow these shoes, and I just loved them, and they were comfortable on my feet. 
And I was lucky enough to find them on the clearance rack. This is what they look like. They um, tie up the front. And I mean, that is a pretty good size heel. I don't know what it is about these shoes, but they're more comfortable than the other heels that I own. So I decided to get these. They're, they're really very nice. I was just, I was very pleased that I found these in my size. And I wore a nine. So the fact that these were still sitting there and they actually had eight and a halfs as well, which I was, I was shocked because I feel like those are kind of popular sizes, like anywhere between what, like a seven and a half and a nine are pretty popular. So I was really happy to be able to find these. I, to be honest, I was just astonished that both the shoes that I wanted were there still in my size. Also at Dillard's, this was, this was from Origins. Now my other face wash I ran out of and so I decided I wanted to try something else. Now normally this, they don't sell this size. This was for the holidays, but it's the Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. And normally the container is about that long and it's I think right around $21. This, this big tube was $21 because it was the holiday one. So I kind of jumped all over that. My face is oily and dry. So I'm a little more, you know, the T-zone's a little more oily and then out here it's a little bit drier. And she said that this works really good for both oily and dry. Um, so we'll see. I was really happy with the other Origins face wash I had, so I'm sure I'll be all right with that. Um, a few weeks ago I went to Urban Outfitters. I love Urban Outfitters. They always have like weird stuff in there and they sell, sometimes they have makeup and face products and then clothes and shoes. like. I really enjoy going in that store. You just never know what you're going to find. So this was one spray that I've been wanting to try for a while. Went into Urban Outfitters to buy some Christmas gifts and there it was sitting by the register. The uh, Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Now to tell you the truth, and it was actually only $7. I don't know what these retail for at other uh, stores, but it was $7 and I thought $7 wasn't bad. Um, but normally I don't like anything that smells like roses. I'm just not partial to that scent. So I was a little bit worried about this, but like when you spray it on your face initially, you can smell the roses, but it wears off pretty quick. It didn't last on my face. But what I do like about this, and it is for all skin types, what I do like about this is that it makes my face feel kind of refreshed and hydrated. Um, after I get out of the shower, my face is really sort of like tight feeling and even though I use like face wash that's good for a more dry skin you know in those in the winter time that the air is dry anyway you just come out feeling sort of dry so I like to spray this on my face like right as soon as I come out of the shower and it just it feels good and my face doesn't feel tight anymore matter of fact now before I even put any makeup on my face before I even put my moisturizer on I spray my face like all over with this and then I go ahead with my moisturizer and I haven't had any issues with like peeling dry skin on my face so um, I'm just very happy that I found this and I hope that I, I'm actually like so concerned that this is going to be discontinued and I'll never be able to find it again. I'm actually considering going to Urban Outfitters and buying like two more bottles because I really like it that much. Something else that I want to talk about and I, I am planning on buying the bigger size is this Ultra Facial Cream from Kiehl's. It's intense hydration and it's for drier skin types. I've been using this on my face every day before I put my foundation on. This has kept my face really super soft. And again, no dry patches, no peeling, because usually by this time of the year, I have like dry patches around my nose and I'll get some peeling and even like in between my eyes. And it's weird because even though I'm oily, I will get dry patches. Um, and I learned a long time ago not to over exfoliate, but my skin's kind of weird. I'm sure a lot of you are feeling the same thing with your skin. But this stuff is awesome. I plan on going and buying the bigger size in a couple weeks because I still have quite a bit left in here. It doesn't take much to put on your face. Uh, but this has been kind of like a lifesaver, a skin saver in my opinion. And my face doesn't feel like oily or greasy afterwards. It soaks in really nice and it leaves my skin feeling good. Speaking of dry skin, and I was using this. I, I really like Kiehl's, you guys can probably tell. Um, I was using this for a while and this was like what I was using in the summer into kind of like fall and it worked perfectly. But my skin has gotten a lot drier um, and really itchy and I just couldn't stand it and I was kind of like on the hunt to find a really good moisturizer for my like a body lotion. So I was at Ulta and I found this and I like things that smell like pineapple. So this is tropical pineapple and white peach. It's from Ahava or Ahava. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, 
but I got this. Boy, I've been using this and my skin has felt so good. I put it on at night before I go to bed. It soaks in really fast. It leaves my skin feeling nice and soft and smooth and it takes care of any itching and like dryness and any you know like sometimes I would wake up in the morning and I would pull my sleeve up and especially since I've been tattooed uh, can really see that sort of ashy look on my skin especially with the ink on my arm I can really see that ashiness and I don't like it so uh, using this body lotion has been awesome while I was at Urban Outfitters I did pick up two nail polishes I wish that I would have put I wish I would have thought about it and put these on because these colors are so pretty uh, this one is called Mystic Disco it's a I think this one's a matte finish yeah it's a matte finish it's really super pretty I told you guys I've been kind of into that matte look lady, but lately, but this is really pretty on. Um, this one was $6, and then this one is called Sticky Fingers. So, so pretty, the color of this. These two I actually bought to wear together because they just complement one another so well. Uh, but they were two for $8, and I couldn't pass that up, so I decided to pick these up. Oh, and I almost forgot, with the, the sale at Dillard's, I did get a pair of earrings. These are Lucky Brand earrings. And they were normally 25 bucks. I got them for like $6.08, but I took the little tag off because I've worn them already. But they're just silver hoops. And it's weird because I really, this is what they look like, I really like silver jewelry. I'm not really a gold jewelry kind of person. And what's funny is at work, everyone loves gold, and I'm the only one that likes silver. Um, but my silver hoops broke. I had like three pairs. One of them I lost and the, t the other two broke because I'd had them forever. And so I was walking around the jewelry section and I found these and I was like, holy cow, silver hoops. Like, I don't know why it's so hard to find them, but they were sitting right in front of me, which made me very happy. Um, my friend from Instagram, Blushed and Bronzed, we did a little swap. I wanted this palette for the longest time and she posted a picture on Instagram about the Nordstrom Rack by her house had these um, there for like 15 bucks if you can see 14.97 and I saw that she posted the picture and I was like holy cow can you pick one of those up for me I will pay you for it or we can just do a swap and they sold out well then like a couple weeks later she messaged me and she goes they're back in stock I picked one up for you so I was really happy about that it's the Too Faced a la mode eyes the sexy Saint Tropez eyeshadow collection so this is what the colors look like and I like them so much these are definitely Felicia colors. Uh, really like that a lot. And you know what's funny is like people that know me outside of um, maybe YouTube, like the girls at Sephora, for some reason they think I'm more of a neutral eyeshadow kind of person, which I'm not. But it seems like every time I go into Sephora, I'm like wearing browns or something nude on my eyes. Um, but I just really, really like colors like this a lot. I was so happy that she was able to find it and send it to me. So... Um, I think on Sephora's website you can still get this, but it comes with a bunch of other stuff like a bag. I think there's a uh, mascara and maybe an eyeliner or something. Uh, I don't know if she watches my videos, but if you do, thank you. I love it, and I'm definitely going to use this in a tutorial soon. The colors are very dupable. I'm sure that I could come up with dupes for this, but really can't wait to use this. It's been sitting here because I wanted to make a haul video, and I didn't want to use it first. So definitely next up will be that. Um, at Sephora, I also picked up some Makeup Forever eyeshadows. Now, Makeup Forever single eyeshadows are expensive. Like, I can't believe that I bought these. The only reason I bought these was because I had 20% off. And actually, the day that the coupon came out, the Sephora by my house was out of these. And I know the manager, and she was like, don't worry, because I shop in there constantly. They all know who I am. She was like, "Don't worry. When we get these, when we oops, when we get these colors in, I will honor the twenty percent off, no matter when it is." And I was like, "Okay, cool." So the the colors finally came in, and the reason that I like these, like Makeup Forever, has this little train case palette out that I've actually kind of been contemplating buying because now it's only thirty nine dollars as opposed to fifty nine. But this color was in it, and I really really like this color. It's D eight two six. Oops. This is what it looks like. It's really very pretty and I'll swatch it for you. Actually, I'll just leave it on my finger. But that's what it looks like. It's gorgeous. I mean, it really is a gorgeous color. It's kind of like a uh, brownish cranberry, almost like Star Violet from MAC, but maybe a little more 
like on the cranberry side. I don't know. It's gorgeous. And I actually did a, I made a video using these eyeshadow colors and that's when my computer sort of crashed and I lost everything. I didn't lose it. It's in an external hard drive, but there's like 4 million videos on there and none of them are labeled. So I figured I would just refilm it. And then here's another one. This one is I606. And when I made the video, I actually paired these two colors together. But I think when I redo the video, I'm not going to pair these two together. But this one is very pretty as well. The reason I'm not going to pair these two together again is because I feel like this brown was just a little too light and a little too close to that color. Um, I don't know. It's just not, I guess not, you see what I mean? Like, it's not dark enough to pair with this color. So... Um, I think what I'm going to do when I use this color here is just maybe use black or something really super, super dark. But I, I think this is just so pretty. It's kind of like a mauve brown, which I'm more partial to like the, the mauve browns. I just really like them. I think you'll be able to see better with them next to each other. I don't know. But that definitely has a little bit of like a mauve undertone. I feel like my lights are sort of washing it out. And then I got the little um, eyeshadow palette to go with it to put them in. And it's just the little um, duo palette. Oh, and I used this in a video. I just filmed this look that I'm wearing. Um, Blunt, eye or Blunt Blush from MAC. I would have never thought to use this on myself because it's so entirely dark. And it's a very warmed up blush. It's got... Um, that sort of reddish undertone and it may not translate well on um, the, the video but in real life if you're ever by MAC and you want to sort of like check out the color of it it's really pretty but like on darker skin tones you can definitely see that it has more of a reddish um, undertone but I've been using it for contour and I would have never thought to use it on myself because it is so dark but if you're not heavy-handed with it it's really very pretty for a contour color. I also got uh, the large size perversion mascara from Urban Decay. I almost said Urban Outfitters. This is what it looks like. It's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be but I do like that the brush is not huge. It's, it's a little bit smaller, like the uh, MAC and Extreme Dimension brush. I make such a huge mess with that, but I don't feel like this brush is as big. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but anyway, I really do like this mascara a lot. It's a great mascara to have, and I'm happy that I bought it. And then another eyeshadow palette that I bought was from Too Faced, and this was a palette that was sold, I think, exclusively at Ulta. It's called the um, Sugar and Spice palette, and the look that I'm wearing today on my eyes, I used this palette um, to achieve. And um, I used my 20% off at Ulta to buy this. So I think this was like, how much was this? $29 maybe? Uh, here are, it's, it's got a cute little mirror. I never use the mirrors though, but here's the eyeshadow colors. And I think they're very pretty and wearable. And you can see I used this bottom row already. Um, but when I had that coupon, I had no idea what to buy. And I remembered that this was, um, I think they had like one left. And I wasn't going to buy anything. I was like, eh, I'm just going to let it go. But it's hard to let coupons like that go, especially on prestige items. So I decided to use it. And then, of course, it came with a bag. And I'll never use this bag. I'm not, I'm not even sure what to do with it. Maybe I should give it to somebody or toss it. I don't know. Oh, and then it also came with the small uh, Better Than Sex mascara, which I really enjoy that, too. That's probably going to be another one that I buy the full size of because I really like it. Um, so that's it for my haul. Not much. I don't feel like I got a whole lot of stuff. Um, you know, like Christmas time, this, the sales are really awesome. There's really good deals, but you know, you're buying for other people and not so much so for yourself. So, um, I do have another haul video that I'm going to do, but it's a different kind of haul video. Um, I like to journal and so I kind of like have a stationary paper goods haul that I'm going to do for you guys. So if you're interested in that, that'll be up soon. Um, I also wanted to say that there are some things that I want to get and I can't wait for them to come out, especially the Hourglass. Hourglass has new eyeshadow palettes coming out. I haven't seen them in person. I've only seen pictures, but I just like how the eyeshadow palette looks. Um, it sits, it sits in a case like the, uh, the highlighters 
and the colors the like the eyeshadow color is kind of like a wave in there i think it's called the modernist palette but they're coming out with a bunch of different i think four different palettes and they're going to be at sephora so i'm definitely going to pick up one of those at least one of them when those come out and then also nars is coming out with an eyeshadow palette with their dual intensity eyeshadow so i have one of those i have himalaya so I'm waiting for that palette to come out. I believe right now it is on sale at NARS website, but I'm just going to wait till it comes to Sephora so I can get my points. Um, so those are two palettes that I can't wait to get. And I've also kind of been tossing around the idea of getting that Jaclyn Hill palette from Morph. Morph, Morphe, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm really kind of interested to see. I've never used a Morph eyeshadow before. So the fact that she came out with a palette like... I don't know. I'm 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 intrigued. So maybe I'll get it because I believe it's not that expensive. I think it's like $27 or something like that. So as soon as the hype kind of dies down around that and they restock them because I know as soon as they go on sale, you're, you're just not going to be able to get it. So, um, But I've kind of been tossing that idea back and forth of getting that. So those are some purchases that I've been thinking of making in the future. I'm sure, I mean, obviously <laughs> there's always something to buy, right? Uh, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to go for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.